Hey tech heads, Lina here. Are you in the mood for fresh news straight out of France? Renault is preparing an interesting electric novelty for 2024, which is just around the corner. What impresses me the most about it is the price and the design. Yes, I'm talking about the Renault 5 Electric, which promises to be one of the most affordable electric cars on the market. What will it offer? Will it have a 22 kilowatt AC onboard charger, V2L, or even V2G? I'll reveal that and more surprises in today's video. All right, let's get into it. First, let's look at design and history. So the Renault 5 Electric promises modern technology and driving pleasure at an affordable price. The concept was first unveiled in January 2021, and it has this retro futuristic look that's reminiscent of the classic Renault 5, which was a small car produced by Renault in two generations between 1972 and 1996. You must know it. It's a square design would be really hard to mix up with anything else. Now, the final design still remains to be seen, but those camouflage prototypes look very interesting, don't they? Let me know in the comments if you've been missing such a car on the market. What about price? So, Gilles Le Bon, please excuse my accent as I'm not French, I'm sure it's horrible. Renault's executive vice president of engineering has confirmed that the new Renault 5 EV will have a starting price in the 20 to 25,000 euro or 17 to 22,000 pound range. If the price is kept, it will be a very interesting alternative to Chinese competition, such as MG4 or the BYD Dolphin. Now, the battery capacities are said to be 40 kilowatt hours and 52 kilowatt hours. Reynolds claims a range of up to 400 kilometers when using the larger battery. Personally, I think it will be around 340 kilometers real range with the bigger battery and around 280 kilometers with the smaller battery. Now, what do you think about this quoted price? It sounds pretty amazing, right? Do you think Renault will stick to it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, the new CMFB EV platform, which is around 30% cheaper to produce than Renault's current small EV platform, underpins its best-selling Zoe EV, which has been on the market for over a decade now. The new battery pack will also help give the vehicle the competitive edge that Renault is after. The switch from the 12 modules, which are seen on the Zoe battery, to four large modules means that the architecture is simpler and also 15 kilograms lighter. Equipped with a single layer of modules, the battery pack is a perfect fit for the new platform. The future electric Renault 5 EV will need less space to transport more kilowatt hours, which is obviously awesome. For the press release, special care has also been taken to house the battery pack inside the platform for added protection. Its placement will provide added rigidity to the underbody, thereby also improving the acoustics and the driving pleasure. Now, the 5's new brake-by-wire setup was developed with Continental, and despite not being connected to the brakes themselves, it offers a strong pedal feel, or at least that has been stated. I don't know for sure, obviously. <laughs> Notably, it also stops in less distance than a Renault Zoe from the same speed. Now, do you like getting these detailed specifications? If so, make sure that you subscribe and support me in creating more similar content for you in the future. Battery uses NMC chemistry, and for those who travel frequently and need fast charging, the Renault 5 Electric will offer a DC fast charging option with a maximum output of up to 130 kilowatts. Now, I do think this will only be available with the larger battery. For the smaller 40 kilowatt hour battery, I expect similar charging power to the Megon E-Tech EV40. That is maximum 85 kilowatts DC. Unfortunately, there is no information available on what onboard AC charger the Renault 5 Electric will have, but fingers crossed it will be the 22 kilowatt version from the Megon E-Tech. I think that would be a very nice competitive advantage since most European car companies don't offer this option at all, so let's hope Renault goes for it. Now this is cool, the Renault 5 Electric will be the first Renault car to feature a V2G or vehicle-to-grid bidirectional onboard charger. The R5's bidirectional charger combined with the mobilized power box bidirectional charging station and the mobilized V2G service will allow Renault 5 drivers to save money on charging and reduce their overall electricity bills by reselling electricity on the energy market using an app and a V2G wall box that Renault will supply in their partnership with Mobilize. That's really cool. 
Of course, Renault 5 will also support the V2L or vehicle to load standard, which is very handy. And personally, I think I'd immediately go out somewhere into the countryside just so I can test it out and boil me some water for a nice cup of tea. <laughs> One minus is that the Renault 5 electric will have front wheel drive. I don't know about you, but personally, I definitely prefer rear or all wheel drive in my EVs. As per the press release, the electric motor on the future electric Renault 5 will be based on the tried and tested electrically excited synchronous motor used primarily in the Zoe and Megan E-Tech electric. Not only does it boast better output than a permanent magnet motor, it also requires no rare earth metals, meaning that large scale production costs and the environmental impact are both lower. So personally, I love this because I do believe the use of rare earth metals, along with other environmental factors, are often used as an argument against EVs, and it would be great to get rid of these impacts altogether, so this is definitely a step in the right direction. Moreover, the engine will benefit from a new internal architecture, combining three main components. The DC-DC converter that converts the battery's 400 volts into 12 volts, the battery charger, and the accessory box that manages power distribution. Now, by pulling together the different functions that are performed by these three components in a single box, the engine manages to be smaller and lighter. In fact, it's roughly 20 kilograms lighter than the engine used for the Zoe. The future electric Renault 5 engine will be more enjoyable and dynamic to drive as a result, which of course is great. It would really be a shame if it wasn't. <laughs> The new Renault 5 EV promises to be revolutionary and not just for the Renault brand, but for the entire automotive industry. Personally, I think it has a great chance to revolutionize the European market because at this point we still lack such an EV, cheap, modern, and European. Basically, for a price under £30,000, we can only buy the great Chinese MT4 SE, or the interesting BYD Dolphin, which as of now is still not available for order in the cheaper active version. So it will depend on Reynolds' production capacity, its delivering on the promised price, and most importantly, hopefully they'll make it soon. <laughs> Every month of delay is a problem in electric mobility. Are you looking forward to the Reynolds 5 like I am? Are you sorry that it doesn't have rear-wheel drive and a rear engine? Let me know in the comments and I look forward to seeing you again soon.